encouraged on a daily basis, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to be on the show and to be able to talk about forgiveness, Lord. I hope that whoever is listening may be encouraged and um, may see your good works through us and through this conversation we're about to have, Lord. I pray that you bless this conversation and that we just have a good time and, of course, keep it Christ-like amongst all things. And I thank you for all that you've done for us, all that you continue to do for us. We love you. We thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now you know we've been talking about forgiveness. Since we pre-rehearsed ourselves all of a sudden, um, I'm going to go back. We We (laughs) do Okay, okay. (laughs) What what is forgiveness uh, from you? What do you think forgiveness is? In my opinion, I believe that forgiveness is um, basically to not harp on things that have happened to you, to be able to let go and to be able to move forward. A lot of people think that, you know, in order to forgive, you have to forget. But really, that's not realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, in order to... um, It's not realistic because naturally, as humans, we're always going to remember, like, especially if they're really uh, serious things that occur to us. So I would say basically to not dwell on it and to just use it to push you forward instead of looking back. Amen. Amen. Now with um, um, steps of just what you said that you don't um, forget, how do you keep yourself from not getting angry when stuff comes back up? Pardon? Can you repeat that? What do you do when when you don't forget and you got it to the back of your mind, but some way, somehow it comes and reoccurs back in your life or that person or that family member or that coworker brings it all the way back up. What do you do? For me? I mean, I think it's natural. It's going to come up. You know, I'm a human. So what I do, I don't, I don't strip myself of feeling or having emotions. I think in order for me to get over things, I have to first get through them. So when those things come back up, you know, it might make me upset, but I allow myself to be upset for five minutes. You know, I allow myself, if I have to cry, I allow myself to cry for maybe five minutes. And the next time it might be four minutes and then eventually I won't, you know, so I just try to experience my emotions and deal with it and then move on with my life, move on with my day. So when it happens, I pray about it, honestly, and I just leave it to God for that day. And I just, you know, keep pushing forward. Amen. Amen. Okay. uh, You also mentioned, you know, some of the tools, some of the tools, because a lot of our listeners don't know how to forgive and, and move on. What would you suggest that they start off doing when they want to do the process of forgiving? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <clears throat> what do you do when when others want to learn what you are learning? Um, how do you get them to understand the steps or the tools that you started? You know, say, like, what you do to help you get through or learn how to forgive whatever it is to get to the next level. What are the tools that you use? Um, I, would, I would first say to not trick yourself into thinking that it's going to happen overnight. I think that's the biggest mistake. Sometimes we think, oh, you know, I have to be superwoman and I have to be superman and, you know, God says forgive, so I need to do it right now. And again, we are humans. We are people. And as people, we we have emotions. So I think first you need to acknowledge those emotions. If you're upset, do it, be it. You know, be upset, be mad, be sad, be angry, cry, do whatever you have to do. Let it out first, because as long as you mask it and try to pretend, oh, I've forgiven that person eventually or what you're ultimately doing is just kind of putting on a facade. And then when it finally does come out, it comes out 10 times worse. So I would say just accept it for what it is in the moment and then work at it it is a process it will not happen overnight it might not take a week it might not take a month it might not even take a year it may take longer okay but as long as you're working towards it i think that's that's the very first thing that you can do amen amen you know a lot of us um are learning this process of forgiveness um when I when I was approached with this topic, which is which is awesome, one of the ladies um, suggested that women are the most 
hardest critics of, of self. Are you a hard critic of, of yourself? And do you forgive yourself for some of the things that you have made or journeys you have taken and you didn't think that it was something that you should have done? Oh, absolutely. I think I am my toughest critic. And I'm learning to... I'm I'm learning to kind of let that go a little bit. I'm learning that I am not Superwoman. Yeah. I am not God. I am not Jesus. I am none of the above. I am Brittany Marie Harris, you okay. know? So I just try to be my best self. But at the same time, if something does not go right, it's okay, Brittany. You're not perfect. Um, there are a lot of horrible decisions I've made in my life, which, I mean, some still have consequences even though I'm past them they still have their consequences which I which I have to deal with I don't have a choice however I, I've just learned that you know God forgives me you know I've repented of those things that I've done in, in my past and I've moved forward um, so I just try again not to really dwell on those things Amen. and to just make sure you know God has forgiven me so who am I to hold it against myself Amen. Now that that now you just said something there because that's that's the key to a lot of us women. I I can't speak on the men part, but a lot of us women because we held, we hold on so much of all the stuff that goes on in our lives that we we won't let go. So you just kind of taught us in the sense of in true forgiveness, it's letting it's letting the stuff that you hold on go. It's truly mm -hmm. the saying let go and let God. You know, I, I, you know, I hate to say it because a lot of us use it in such a ge generic term. You know, let God, right. let go, and let go, let God, and not really meaning understanding that meaning of letting go and letting God and letting God dwell and letting Him lead and direct. Speaking of that, you <laughs> are being led. Well, let me say, you was led to Thailand. Tell me about that. So yes, sorry. Thailand was such an amazing experience. If I could move there right now, <laughs> I most definitely would. Really? I'm. I, it was everything you imagine it to be. It was ten times better. Mm -hmm. um, I got to do so many different things, things that I never thought I would do, like playing with tigers. That was that was an interesting experience. It is. Um, Riding elephants, uh, elephant bathing, which is where you get in the water with an elephant. Wow. Um, parasailing, swimming in a waterfall. It was it was amazing. You you are living a, a life that <laughs> most of us would love to have, you know. Um, and you are going on this this journey. This journey, I call it journey. You know, a lot of people may say something else. But you're going on this journey that is so profound. Did you ever think you would be in China right now after graduating? I did not. <laughs> what, I, what did you expect to happen in your life after you graduated college? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I, I was one of those people where... I couldn't really see past right now. I couldn't see past the moment. Mm -hmm. So I never, I don't know. Isn't that I something? really, I, I don't know. I always had dreams, right? but they were just that. They were just dreams. Right. You know, I just, I never thought of actually accomplishing them or making them reality. Right. So it makes these moments even more special to me because I never, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I, I never, I never ever saw them coming so I appreciate them so much more than I ever could have right because we we don't think oh well we're gonna go to China you know months months later after we graduate or what have you we don't think oh we're going to Thailand just to you know see the lifestyle or the culture you are living you are living a dream you are living a reality dream for some of us that uh -huh. We living through you. I'm going to just say it. I'm just trying to tell you right now. You know, I was with you with the tiger. You know, standing up, going to sleep. I was with you where you had to take your shoes off, put your jacket on. I, I'm with you. <laughs> they have a lot Thank of... Thank you. <laughs> I'm living through you because that's all I got, you know, right now. Okay, I'm just saying. But, you know, there were some places that were sacred that you had to um, respect. 
Because I, I noticed one of your pictures stated that you had to put on a jacket. What was the purpose of that? Yes, there were a lot of tem temples in Thailand. We went to the Grand Palace, which is where the king and the queen reside. Okay. Um, I guess you could consider it as like our White House, okay. maybe. Okay. Um, so there were, it was made up of a lot of different temples. And in order to go into the temples, the women had to have their shoulders covered and their knees covered. Oh. So I had on like two shirts. It was blazing in Thailand oh, wow. and long pants. I was really, really hot. But if you did not have on the proper attire, they would give you these really ugly green cover ups <laughs> to wear. Wow. There were so many rules like no PDA, really? you couldn't have cameras, and you had to take your shoes off. And wow. it was a lot. No short shorts. Wow. Just it was it was an interesting experience to say the least. Very interesting. So how is the culture there? Talk a, talk a, I'm sorry, can talk you... about the culture in Thailand. It, are they different from people from China? Let me say it like that. Did you Are they different from the people from China? Oh yes. They are night and day i would say thailand even though it's in asia it, it's more western so it reminded me of america and i think that's probably why i loved it so much so the culture everyone spoke english mm -hmm. um they also had very dark skin so they kind of looked like me a little bit okay. just a little bit just a little. um it, it just it reminded me of western culture so i didn't really see any differences okay from like, Thailand and America, but then Thailand and China, it, it was very, it was just much more organized and not as chaotic. Wow. And there were, um, there were a lot of protests going on in the country. Okay. But even in the protesting, it was still very organized and not as chaotic as, as I had pictured it to be. Okay. Whereas China is just like chaos all day, every day. It really? doesn't matter. Wow. Are they a fast, is China a fast pace, like a New York? You know, their lifestyle is, is kind of fast pace. Is it like New York? You know how New York is just very, very busy, busy, busy. Always, they don't sleep. It's always going, is China like that? No, they are not. They are like New York as far as how many people are everywhere all the time on the subways, on the buses. But as far as like the pace of life, it's very, very slow here in China and it's actually something that I really appreciate okay. because in America I think we tend to be just very busy like we're busy bodies yeah. just throughout the day you mm -hmm. know on a daily basis whereas coming to China forces you to slow down okay so it's like the little country area you know like a little country city. yeah it's city you. but country. you know I got you city, but <laughs> now 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 tell me because I know the church at Hollandale know about your your next journey, your next next journey. So you gotta tell the world so we all can celebrate, celebrate, celebrate good times. Good times, come, come on, on. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, right. I'm working it. I'm working it. <laughs> I'm super, super, super excited. I'm super excited for you. So you gotta tell us what's 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 next. What's next? What is next? Well, I am so pr like I'm I'm so happy that finally like a, things like a, are kind like of like a room without a roof. Happy? Yes. I know. So happy. Yes. yes. I'm so happy that things are finally everything is just coming together. Look how God me. works and for you. So I was accepted into Concordia University, the Masters of International Study program Amen. for 2014. So this fall, I will be attending grad school. Okay. And Lord's willing, I will be done next August. So okay. between August 2015 or December 2015. Mm -hmm. And as a part of the program, I will be moving to California this summer to study. And then... I'm the just, interesting I'm... part, I will have to move back to China this Shut fall for up. another year. How cool. I'm, I'm, I'm living it. I'm living. I'm, you are strictly a true testimony that dreams do come true. 
your um if you keep your eyes on the prize all things are possible i mean you are, look at me i'm about to tear up because i'm so proud of you oh thank you super super proud because i know in your wildest dreams this wasn't supposed to be a part of your life. This wasn't supposed to be who, where you going, how you going. But God said, uh-huh, yes, it is. And you are living, you're living the ultimate dream. Yeah, um, it, you know, it, it's so, I've become so emotional when I speak about Absolutely. it. Because it goes back to that self-forgiveness. Like, God forgave me for so much. So how dare I, you know, still hold myself to so many things that are, you know, done, but sometimes I have, you know, I have these moments where I'm like, Brittany, you don't deserve this. Like, how dare you celebrate going to grad school? Like, you shouldn't be here right now. Right. But then I have to stop it. Like, God forgave you. And how you awesome is that you. with with that forgiveness? Because with the topic but of being that, we don't realize how often God forgives us and still keeps pushing towards making us do the things that he would want us to do and he is absolutely working really great in your life and beyond beyond look at me he getting he giving me something to wipe my tears you know because i'm so i am i am so so elated and so proud that you know i know you i better get your autograph now before you become what? way uh, beyond my wildest no. dreams <laughs> No, no, no. You know, she be she be in the White House out the wild working somebody's stuff. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I'm I'm really thankful and I just thank God for this because I know that this is all God. I yes. know this has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I know that I couldn't have made this happen on my own. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm just thankful and it goes beyond getting into grad school and being able yeah. to go to Thailand and those things are great. Yeah. And, you know, to be able to, to, to live a, a certain type of lifestyle, it, it's great. I, I won't even lie, but it, it goes, it's so much deeper than that. You know, just I'm, I'm thankful for the peace that I have in my heart. And that and that's you know? key. That is very yeah. key. It's, it's key to the point where you are in awe of what he does. You know, I mean, the things that he does and you like, how did I get here, Lord? And you are, you are, you are counting those blessings and thanking, thanking the Lord for just, man, you just touched my life a little bit and it just seems grand. But right. I mean, I can't even think fathom after I finish this, what you got in plan or what you have in store for me after this, what I do now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm I'm with you. I'm crying. I'm, there. I'm with you. Just I'm trying you. to enjoy the moment. And, and, and take it all in, girl. That's what I'm going to tell you. Take it all in. Enjoy each and every. And have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Just keep doing what you're doing. I, you know what? You just tied all that, that forgiving stuff in there with the Jesus thing in there. I'm just, I'm just elated. I don't know what to do. You know, I'm so happy. He won't let me play it. He won't let me play the song. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anything else? Anything else going on with you? Anything you want to say to anybody? I'm a, I, I made this recording, though. I made this recording. So just in case your mom didn't get to hear it today, I definitely going to make it and put it on CD for her so she can hear how great her daughter is. She did a uh -huh. great job. Okay. Hi, Mama. If you're listening, I made it. I made it. I made it. She made it. We made it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me here. I just really, I, I appreciate your support. I appreciate all of Hollandale's support. Amen. Um, everyone on all my social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, even my blogs. I really appreciate just all of the encouraging words. I appreciate the prayers. Yes. It means so much to me. And it really makes my day when I log on Facebook and I just see all of the positive comments. It, you know, what a lot of people don't realize is that it's not, it's not easy for me to be away, you know, to right. be away from my family and my friends and especially my congregation. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to create my life. So I have to, I have to do what I have to do. 
do. So it makes it a little bit easier when I have everyone pushing me and I'm proud of you and, you know, I hope you go to China and finish it, you know, so I'm thankful. I'm very, very thankful. I know you miss, and before, before I let you go, I know you miss, like, Christmas. Do they celebrate Christmas like we celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving and New Year's and all of those worldly holidays? Do they celebrate those? Because I know you were what without family in a sense um yes they do not celebrate that in china okay but when you're in the stores they'll have like christmas decorations and things like that because they want you to buy a christmas tree right but (laughs) as far like they don't the people don't celebrate it for christmas they actually give each other apples okay so i received a ton of apples apples from my students why do they give you apples i don't know i didn't ask i just accepted it (laughs) but thanksgiving christmas um what else do we have new year do you have new year yeah all of our holidays they don't really celebrate and their new year's is a month after ours wow so when it was december or when it was january 1st Mm -hmm. 2014 in america it was January 1st, 2013 in China. Wow. So it was not the new year yet. So I was technically kind of in two years. But Isn't that really, cool? <laughs> it was very... I had a ball. It was so fun. You're in a time capsule. <laughs> yes, I just... I just, I was living it up, man, in two different years. But wow. they don't really celebrate it. I mean, my students know that I do, so they were kind and, you know, wishing me a happy new year and Merry Christmas. Okay. But it was... The holidays were pretty tough, but I, I I got through them. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to Facebook you a little bit more often. Huh? I'm gonna have to get my life with you. <laughs> All right, Miss Brittany. Miss Brittany, I I just I am I'm just so so super happy, eternally inside, just overjoyed about your accomplishments and the things that you are doing in your next venture man this is this is just awesome i want to thank you i want to thank you i ain't gonna keep you on because i know you need to get some sleep i'm just trying to tell you See, look well, at that. I, I appreciate it <laughs> you know i'm gonna contact you again because you're going on another journey and you gotta let our let our young people know what would you say to the young people that listen to this station or even the um people your age what would you say to them about living their dreams or making dreams happen i would say number one keep god first do it all don't lose yourself in any of it um i think it's easy to get caught up sometimes um but remember that you're not the source of any of this god is and then secondly just do do everything you want to do if you want to travel the world do it there's nothing holding you back there's nothing stopping you if you want to make it happen you absolutely will so you know sometimes you have to make those tough decisions do I leave home for a year do I miss weddings do I miss parties graduations you might have to so I would just say you know do what makes you happy everything else will fall into place don't worry about relationships and you know your little boyfriends and girlfriends (laughs) and all that is great but it'll it'll come at its own time yeah. so you know just just live your life and do everything you've ever dreamed of as as oprah would say live your best life so live your best life i love that Absolutely. i thank you i really do i thank you again i took your time i want to let you guys know this is miss Brittany harris I, i'm gonna do it like they do it on the uh on the basketball thing miss Brittany harris <laughs> She's doing the wave, y'all. She's doing the wave like, hi. She don't have her crown on, but that's all right. We'll work that out. We'll work that out later. But thank you so much for being on Lady TJ Midday Devotion and TNT Gospel Radio. Thank you for having me. All right. Now go to bed. I'll talk to you later. Will do. Have a good night. All right. Or morning. Yes. Bye. (laughs) All right. Coming up next, I'm going to give you some music i'm gonna give you some music right now and then i'm gonna give you the daily devotion and then we're just gonna continue talking about it i'm i'm just super super duper proud of young people like herself that take a stand even though you went through so many trials and and adversities that you too can forgive and move forward
That's what I got. Right here, Lady TJ. Here we go.
I'm still talking to Brittany, y'all. I'm just I'm just doing my thing with her. We talking some more. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna give you the daily devotion, and it is called Stick a Needle in Your Eye. All right. It's Lady TJ. I will be right back. I'm going to talk some more with Brittany. I'll see y'all Today's later. Today's sunshine back. note is titled Stick a Needle in Your Eye. But if you turn away and ally yourself with the survivors of these nations that remain among you, and if you intermarry with them and associate with them, then you may be sure that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations before you. Instead, they will become snares and traps for you, whips on your backs and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Joshua chapter 23, verse 12 and 13. I was visiting the playground of the school across the street from my church when I heard a familiar sound. The sound came from a little girl who was making a solemn oath to one of her little friends. The promise went something like this, cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. Where did we come up with these things? I stood there and wondered, has there ever been a time in human history when a child broke a promise and this oath was fulfilled? I'm sorry, Johnny, but you promised to share your dessert with little Freddy at lunch, and you didn't. We have to hold you down and poke a needle in your eye, and then we have to kill you, as per the agreement you swore on the playground. In a way, the parting words of General Joshua to his people were an oath. At least they were a good predictor of what was going to happen. He warned the Israelites to stay away from the cultural influences of the nations around them, because these influences would lead the Israelites away from God and toward the bad things that caused the eventual downfall of these nations. I love Joshua's vivid descriptions of the pain Israel would suffer if they were to fall in this way. Whips on your backs and thorns in your eyes. Joshua was describing the natural consequences of sin to the people of God. Sin becomes a burdensome taskmaster that blinds you to the reality of God. Joshua's warning, stay away from it. Of course, as you will see in the book of Judges, Israel did not stay away from sin. They played with it and got burned again and again. But God was faithful to his people, as he always is. Sin is bad, God is good. Joshua knew that and reminded his people of it just before he died. But if you turn away and ally yourself with the survivors of these nations that remain among you, and if you intermarry with them and associate with them, then you may be sure that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations before you. Instead, they will become snares and traps for you, whips on your backs and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Joshua 23, verse 12 and 13. May God bless you today. Tell me when. Hey. Oh. It's me again. Stay there. Stay there. I know I say this a lot, but all right, all right, all right. I really want to thank you. I'm just saying, Mr. Canadian. I, I, I have been talking, still talking, with with Brittany Harris. She is. Let me tell you, one of the things that she suggested, and I'm gonna tell. She might get mad at me for it, but do a bucket list. She has a huge bucket list. I'm just trying to tell you, and it's so encouraging because it's things that. Not the normal things that you would think to do for, you know, bucket list. But I'm not going to tell you what she said. But what it is, is just something that you always wanted to do. And you wanted to do it before you leave this earth. Go out, like she suggested, go out and do those things. Because guess what? You only get one time at this life here on earth. So why don't you just go out and enjoy it? Make, make somebody day happy as well as yours. And it don't have to be about stress, worry, and all of this other foolishness that goes on in this world. 
we can all be happy and then succeed and then be happy that somebody else is succeeding. It'll be okay. I promise you. This is Lady TJ. Y'all know what I'm going to tell you. God is still in control. Just remember that. He is still in control. Look towards him. Seek him. And acknowledge him. And praise him. Praise him. This is Lady TJ. I will see you guys on Friday. I have a huge lineup. I'm just telling you. I got a lot of other people that's, that is coming into the studio. I should say call in into the studio. We're talking more about forgiveness. Okay. He giving me the numbers. What's the number? To 6 o'clock? 5 o'clock? 1, 5, 15. All right. Go to 15th Street. I uh, got it. Ding, 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 ding. Kind of a little slow. All right. You know 15th Street having gospel meeting. Go to the gospel meeting. They're, at, um, they're celebrating their anniversary. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, Brittany. Um, that anniversary. I ain't got you. I'll have you on the mic, Mike. So you're good. You can talk, but they may hear you a little bit. I'm like, I was wondering why, because he was doing the one and the five. See, she could see me, y'all. So she's doing, he's doing like this. I'm like, what is that? What is that? So um, 15th Street having a gospel meeting celebrating their 69th, I want to say, um, church anniversary. Go out tonight will be Brother Harrell. No, Brother. Oh, <laughs> wow. Brother Corey L. Glover from the Honda V Church of Christ. I need to get slapped for that one. I don't know. I know. Uh, Brother Corey L. Glover, they will be starting at 7.30. 7.30 TNT is not streaming. Not streaming. Not streaming. But if you want and you can't make it, they are you streaming. Go to their um, um, web page, website, whatever. And, and you, you're talking to me and I'm, I'm trying to focus. I'm focusing. Uh, go to that web page and then when they, they're on Ustream. That's what I'm telling you. They're on Ustream. Link up. You can see them live. You can see them live and then in color. That's good enough? 730. Brother Corey L. Glover from the Hondell Beach Church of Christ. Be there or be on the tube looking. That's all I got. <laughs> This is late, TJ. I gotta go. Tiffany told me I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> day, day, and by faith we can see it afar.